Good evening and welcome back. So only two matches left in this season, both at home, starting with Burgos or Burgos, I'm not quite sure. And then we've got Cartagena, like I say, both at home. Then we've got this testimonial against the retiring players and that'll be the end of our first season in PES 2021, being an absolutely brilliant season. But let's jump into the lineups and see who's playing in our penultimate home game. And almost a full strength lineup, we did get a notification after the last match that Omaradzic picked up a little bit of a knock and if you look he's only out for five days i think he might be back in time for the next match hopefully he is just to get another game in before the end of the season see the home fans again but other than that we're going with a full strength lineup and here we are back at home at la rosaleda lovely stadium always good to be back here playing during the day looks absolutely brilliant just to let you know we have put in a couple of bids and i'm not going to let you know who they are until we get a reply back either way whether it's a decline or an acceptance and um, but putting a couple of bids for players that are out of contract in the summer and um, players i wouldn't expect to be out of contract either some very high quality one player in particular would um immediately improve our first 11 without doubt he would be the number one choice in that position and another player in terms of who we've got, he would probably be around about the same level, but he offers something different, and he can play in a number of positions. Again, both players are young, so can improve, but we'll have to wait and see until, you know, get a res response back from him, which may be after this game, or maybe after the final league game. No transfer fee. Obviously, you have to pay the salary, and we don't have a lot to work with. If they accept what we've offered, we can afford both. But um, they may actually come back with either an outright decline or say they want more money. So we'll have to wait and see. I was going to say that's a poor pass. It was, but it got away with it. Here's Mudrick. Nice ball out wide to Takshara. Just kept it in. Zuxi. Perez. Zuxi, no. <laughs> Keeper flapped at it a little bit, but kept it out. Somehow didn't fall our way. Whether that was by luck or judgment, I'm not sure. A bit of both, maybe. But the two players in question that I've gone for, I did actually spot them in the January transfer window that they were free agent at that well, not a free agent. They, you could sign them for the summer as a free agent. Um, and we decided not to go for them just because, well, we didn't have enough salary at all at that stage from the players that we had at the end of the January transfer window. But now we have got enough to sign both of them. Um, I wouldn't be absolutely good if we didn't get them because we've got the summer up and coming and got a bit of time to play with and then we'll we'll get more money in as well once the, the season's officially wrapped up here's our cast nice play at wide to Mudrick lovely play good save Zirkzy with the tap in on the rebound shame Mudrick didn't get the goal because it was really well worked and he'll not get an assist or anything for that lovely ball for Marcas just avoided the tackle there straight at the keeper so it wasn't the best of shots and Zirkzy with a tap in sorry I skipped the second replay there but it was just a, a tap in but Zirkzy keeping up his good form we did look at the monthly figures at the end of the last match uh, the figures for May and Zirkzy was our top score which isn't a surprise considering he scored 6 in that 10 0 win not long ago. Lovely ball, Mudrik. Oh, lovely play. On oh, Zuxi, it's a post. How did he miss that? How did he miss that? Oh, that's a lovely play as well. And Mudrik again should have had an assist there. And no fault of his own, he didn't get it. Pro ball from Carlos Perez. Bit weak. Maybe not the best of choices anyway. There was other people to aim for. Here's Perez. 
Nice ball that time though to Mudrick. Not much space to work with here. Just going to have to recycle the ball. Is that a foul? Not sure. It looked like it. Cleared the ball there just to be safe, but we'll end up winning it back. Here's Mudrick again. And he gets tackled that time. Don't want to be too predictable. Obviously, he's, he's favours his right foot massively and loves cutting inside. A chance here, though. Comfortable save. I think he made that look a little bit uh, more spectacular than it needed to be. Would never fault uh, Schubert, though he's been such a magnificent find. And Xerxes stopped his run just as I was doing the pass. Does happen. It's almost like the AI know when you're going to try and pass it and decide to suddenly stop the run. Needs to do better there, Mudrick. Wasn't 100% sure what I was trying to do. And paid for it. Got to be decisive. It's better though. I wasn't. A little bit sloppy. Definitely the better of the teams, but that's better. Mudrick with a bit of space now. Lovely ball, and Xerxes with the goal, and he does get an assist this time. Didn't cut in on his right, uses left. Lovely cross. Xerxes nearly headed it so far into the ground that it nearly bounced over the goal. But that's what you need to do. Not be predictable, not just cut in every single time. Lovely ball. Cixi couldn't really miss. Love Cixi to get a few more headed goals. And, you know, the wingers we buy is purposely because we like to play the inverted wingers so they can cut in. They are mainly there to actually score rather than get crosses in. Uh, it's turning out at half time, Cixi getting a double. Possession 65%. Clearly we dominated that game. Looked a little bit sloppy sometimes. Some of the passes not quite coming off. But like I say, we like to play those inverted wingers who mainly are there for goals and to get assists. Normally not through crosses, but through like one-twos and playing it across the floor. But would like, love to see Xerxes getting a few more headers. Maybe if we improve the wing-back play and get some more crosses in. If we improved the way we can do corners, that would be a big start. Lovely defending there. Really nice header. And Arcas on the charge. That's a poor ball. Luke's played a few of those today. And somehow we don't get the ball there. Again, lovely tackle for McDowell. Now Mudrick, what can he do? Again, he's not strong enough. Needs to be stronger. Going to have to improve that, I think. Might have to change his training to, to focus on some physical stats. You know, he's got plenty of pace and shooting and things like that. But potentially improving his passing... But his strength as well. Probably what we need to look at. Not the right place to pass it there. Oh, nice tackle though. And a simple tap in. Sixty, very unselfish considering he was on a hat trick. Not sure what the defence was doing. 
just have to make sure Perez wasn't offside. And it's a simple tap in. And we'll make some subs now. So we are going to take Texher off, put on Caulfield, put on Bajer for Xerxes, and we're going to do the usual swap of Bajer on the right and Carlos Perez up top. And Mudrick's going to come off in place of Hamilton. And I was saying previously that we didn't really have any cover at wing back position, and we don't. Caulfield is the only one, and he's actually pretty. He's not a very good player, but he's um, he's pretty good in both positions. He's actually a right footed left back, which I'm not keen on. Um. My wing backs, I like to be normal winger uh, wing backs, you know, right foot on the right, left on the left, etc. Because they're there for mainly defensive um, purposes, a little bit of support, putting the odd cross. Here's Vieira, good block. But Caulfield's the only support we've got in that position in terms of cover. And like I say, he's not really a very good player, does a job. Oh, nice play there. Arcas, decent effort there. Really nice play. Had to hit it first time. And it was awkward. It was high in the air. It was about knee height, I think. Yeah, left foot. So we definitely won't cover in those uh, wing back positions. Did well to crowd him out there. Did really well. Nice play as well. Vieira hasn't been involved too much this match compared to compared to normal. That's not a great pass from Bajer. Just stopped his run. Just at the wrong time. Acres of space for Perez. First, poor first touch, but Bajer now. That was a shocking touch from Perez. Had acres of space. Look at this. Awful first touch. Managed to get a Bajer, but by that stage, it was two or three defenders in the way. Get a corner out of though. Good defending. Just over Cosinu. They changed the tactics a while back. I had been mentioning it, and every time I forgot to do it. But you can bring up an extra player from sort of defence to attack in set pieces and corners. And I've put Cosinu there. Now again, we need to massively improve our corner taking ability. I just don't seem to be able to consistently put in decent balls. I don't know what it is. Perez, nice ball out wide to Bajer. Now Vieira. He's out on his legs. Couldn't uh, chase to get that ball. And the could be in here. Great goalkeeping. Brought him out just at the right time, but absolutely brilliant piece of just making himself as big as possible. Nice play from Vieira there, even though he's absolutely shattered. Now Carlos Perez, Harrington, not sure he's had touch of the ball before this. Oh, good effort. Oh, I should have just let that go out. That was totally my fault there. 
of Europe. Orcas Houghton. Good save. And there it is, full time, 3 0, well deserved. Not the best of performances, but we've got pretty much the usual stats around about 60% possession, around about that 120, 130 passing mark, and you know, double figures for shots on goal. Zerg's the man of the match, without a doubt. Like I said, Vieira was a little bit absent that game. I think five is a little bit uh, harsh. I think Orcas did better than a five. 3 0, fairly comfortable. And a bit of an update, I did say we're putting a couple of cheeky bids. One of them was Alvarez from Man City. His contract's up in the summer. He did decline, and I did think he would, because when we went in with the salary, he was already saying, we probably got to do better with our terms. We reduced the salary right down to below 600000 which was a bit cheeky. He's declined. I thought he would. Emerson looked a little bit more promising. We did reduce his annual salary as well quite a lot. He normally has about two and a half million and we've got him for... He's come back with uh, just added on 50,000 extra. Initially offered him just under 800,000. We're going to accept that. If you look at his stats, not massively brilliant in terms of like the loft of passes, things like that, but we can improve that with training. But his speed, his acceleration, his, his physical power, his stamina... He's going to be able to run up and down the flanks all day long. But he's only 22. He's still on and up. He's a massive improvement what we've got. McDowell's done brilliant. It just means we've got cover now, though. And we need that, especially that position. And the name I couldn't think of, this was the centre midfielder we bought back a while ago. Again, on a free transfer. Cousance. So he is 22, I believe. Yeah, 22. He's got very good all-round stats. He can play pretty much anywhere in the centre of the park. Attack midfield, centre midfield is preferred position and even defensive midfield if needed. We're probably going to play Herrera in defensive midfield, then Cousins and then Vieira in attack midfield. But we'll see when he actually joins up. But that's it for this week, guys. So there's only the one match left in the league and that's at home to La Carta Jenna. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.